everyone, I'm Ariana. And I'm Derek. This is DNA Travel Brews and Reviews. Um, we like to travel the world, do reviews on resorts and taste all the nice uh, coffee and beers and everything like that that are local. So today we're doing the brews part um, with some Jamaican beers. Absolutely. So what we did is we did a lot of research uh, trying to find what the local beers or local from the island beers would be, um, where you can find them and how you can easily find them. So we took care of that hard part for you. So all you have to do is watch the video and decide what you want, might want to drink or not drink, more importantly. So definitely stay tuned. We're going to keep the reviews um, really short, but also really simple. So not crazy taste profiles um, where you talk about chestnuts or, or roasting uh, roastiness really just gonna keep it super simple about taste profiles where they stand and what you may or may not like um, definitely hope you enjoy it we're going to go into a different part of the video now uh, we we went to the liquor store to pick up all these beers and a few different liquor stores we, we went to and we saw something on the counter that just never frankly had seen before and we thought that might be fun and there's this, this little like I don't know, about six inch tall, maybe a little less bottles. Sometimes they're plastic, sometimes they're glass. Uh, we picked up three different ones, uh, but the first one is Old Pirate, Old Pirate Jamaican Wine. Uh, just, it's it's uh, about 14% alcohol by volume. Um, we'll go ahead and review it now. Um, it's, it's kind of an interesting thing. It seems to be more definitely boozy. Um, Get a smell kind of more like a grape juice wine kind of mm. maybe boozy smell uh the taste first off it's uh much more i get like red wine uh like a, an old vine at first and then as it finishes off it's more like i don't i can't describe it it's sweeter definitely a sweet wine it tastes like a grape juice almost quite okay. at the end um there's a really popular, like, super sweet bottle of wine called Manischewitz. It reminds me a lot of that. Um, super, super sweet, really kind of thick, almost a little bit syrupy. Um, and then at the end, I almost get like a little bit of like a root beer flavor, like right at the very end, maybe like sarsaparilla. Molasses. Just a touch, yeah, the molasses with just a touch of grape. But um, the smell definitely does not match the taste. No, that's, that, that's, that's interesting. You're taking it back because I smelled it. I was like, okay, this is almost boozy. Then the first yeah. sip is red wine, and then as it finishes, it finishes something different. It doesn't so. taste very alcoholic, that's no. for sure. Like, I could probably just sip on it like like a juice. So, you know, we're not really accustomed to this kind of thing, because frankly, we didn't know what it was, but something fun to try if you want to try new things. So grab one of these or the whole fleet of what we show you today, and we'll tell you what we like. All right, continuing on the wine series, uh, we have Admiral Jamaican Ginger Wine. Um, definitely something totally different. Uh, you can see it in the glass. It's got, uh, almost looks like a beer, but it's definitely not that. It's more of a, looks like apple juice. looks like apple juice. Yeah, it looks like a juice, of, uh, a clear juice, more so. So so it is a uh, definitely a ginger product. Uh, when you smell it, the first thing you smell is the ginger that comes off of that. Uh, the first sip, It hits you with the ginger first. Um, I kind of finish almost like a malt liquor kind of finish mm -hmm. is what I taste off of the back end. Um, I have one of my favorite cocktails here in just in general at home and things like that. I like rum um, and I like uh, mixing it with a ginger product, whether it be ginger ale mm -hmm. or ginger ginger beer. Um, I kind of get that hit off of that. It's it's, uh, it's like a boozy ginger beer. So. It's not, it's not bad. I, I, I don't hate it. I think it's a good thing to sip on. Actually, they, they put on the bottle that you can drink it over ice uh, or blend it with a different beverage. Maybe you can throw a shot of rum in there and have fun <laughs> with it. But yeah, this, I, I don't hate it. Yeah, it's, um, I get the ginger taste a lot too. Uh, definitely in the finish, it's got that little bit of like kind of a peppery pinch um, kind of in the back of my throat after I finish swallowing it. And it's, um, it's good. It just kind of makes me feel like I have to cough a little bit. but. Um, it's definitely got a thicker consistency. I've noticed that with both of these wines, um, kind of a little bit more syrupy. I also kind of taste that like rum and ginger beer, if you were to take out the bubbliness. Mm. Um, I also get a little bit of kind of like an apple cider taste to it, uh, maybe mostly from just kind of the texture. 
Um, but yeah, it's definitely drinkable. Um, I would be able to probably finish a bottle. Yeah, you made a good point. It is flat. Um, yeah. It's not something that's got you know carbonation attached to it. So when you're expecting a ginger beer or ginger ale, it's not going to do that. So yeah. definitely different. Let's pick a bottle up. All right, last one on the wine series that we're gonna do um, is the Magnum Tonic Wine. And I, I've been looking forward to this one just because uh, when we brought it up and, and we're talking to our bartenders about it, um, there's kind of a story and a myth about this, I guess, and, and they really lay into that. So it's supposed to be kind of like a Viagra or like a sexual inducer of sorts. Hopefully you can see the picture there. You got like some people the lid. Yeah, the lid is um, good too, so. <laughs> clearly, clearly trying to market something very specific. Here. Right, so we, <laughs> we bought it, they're like, well, yeah, it's, it's, it's supposed to be for sex and that sort of thing, or getting, getting hot and bothered, but um, so definitely <laughs> a cool little mysticism there, so really um, thick. So I was pouring it, pouring it out of the bottle into the glass. It like dripped, like like almost, almost, like, a syrup. almost like a syrup, like a thin maple syrup. So be prepared for that. Uh, the smell almost hits exactly like Dr Pepper. Mm -hmm. So a, a, a non-carbonated Dr Pepper. The taste super sweet, super syrupy. So um, that's kind of what what you're uh, looking at here. What do you think about it? Um, it's very sweet. It's overpoweringly sweet. Um, Definitely smelled like Dr. Pepper, but I wouldn't say that it tasted so much like Dr. Pepper. I was expecting a little bit more of a cherry taste, and I didn't really get that. Um, but it's very thick. That's probably what I don't like about it. Let me sip it again. I get like a, a cherry push pop, where it's not like super, super cherry. It's mm -hmm. like like if you watered down a cherry push pop, that's yeah. kind of what I taste. Um, yeah. A little bit of a cough syrup feel to it. so. Yeah, it's definitely, um, the flavor isn't bad, but for me it's more so the consistency. I feel mm -hmm. like I'm, I'm drinking, you know what it, it reminds me of is like this, like the strawberry syrup that you put on like an ice cream sundae. Oh yeah. That's what it's reminding me of. It's like those fruity syrups that you would like put on ice cream. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I'm just drinking that and it's <laughs> not my favorite. If you like drinking strawberry syrup, <laughs> pick it up. <laughs>